So in this presentation, I'll be proposing my work-based project plan and to help to increase the overall efficiency of the organisation. I will also be covering the brainstorm plan and possible additional proposals which could have been introduced to increase efficiency alongside, um, I'm sorry, along with an outline of my chosen project, which will explain how each aspect of the proposal will integrate to the company and what time scales it will be implemented over. So, um, the first one is identifying the problem. Before I could come forward with my proposal, I had to identify what aspects of my um, organisation were inefficient. I came across several problems which I displayed on the board. I noticed customers were on the phone for um, long periods of time and later found this because the operator does not have an accessible log of information to refer to from the previous conversations meaning the customer tends to repeat themselves. I found that the month-end figures take too long to generate. These are the figures generated at the end of every month to see how much money the company was turning over, etc. The reason for this was each of the company's brands had its own information on separate spreadsheets, um, from invoice and monitoring to the vast customer database. This meant there was a lot of the, this meant there was a total of six spreadsheets put together uh, and calculated to generate the month end figures. As you can see, the main aspects of all these issues are the amount of time it takes to carry out the task. So, um, I've come up with three possible solutions. Um, once I identified the problems in my workplace, I developed three different strategies which could be put in place to save um, time and therefore money. Um, so the first idea I developed was to, simpl uh, was to simply employ more staff members to deal with the additional phone calls and to deal with the backlog of work. Um, so there was pros and cons to this. I've only put um, one on the board for each. Um, so I've got a few more here. Um, so the pros... Um, uh, the employee is able to distribute and delegate work more frequently and equally. Um, cover will be available uh, if a member of staff is off sick. Um, this also allows the office to slow down efficiently and effectively when a member of staff is on annual leave. Um, also, more, fo more phone calls can be answered and chased up, therefore increasing the amount of work that comes in. The um, cons for employing more people is um, it will add to the overall running cost of the office. It will take uh, time and money to train up the new employees. And um, mistakes in the office are more likely to be made when employing new staff. Uh, my second idea was to combine all the spreadsheets, um, spreadsheet information onto one master spreadsheet, which means the information would all be in one place. Um, so the pros for this is the um, customer database can um, be seen all at once and the month-end figures are more easily generated. Um, the cons are the spreadsheet can be altered, um, it can only be altered at a time, so it doesn't allow multiple um, users, um, and it only has a read-only option. Um, it has limited um, options to maximise space, and it's not linked with, link directly to the invoicing system. Um, my last idea was to induce, in, introduce a CRM system Stands for Customer Relationship Manager. Um, this would be an online system which is customizable to, to each requirement and will contain the customer's the customer database and invoice database. Um, so the pros for the CRM um, will be all data will link up to separate um, accounts. Um, it will be access accessible anywhere via the internet, um, giving them easy remote access. Um, there's secure login. Um, passwords and encryption codes. Um, the main features of the accounts are free um, and there's an option to load calls under accounts and contacts that either revert back to previous conversations. Um, it um, creates and stores invoices um, with customizable templates and um, links to clients, links to managers to um, employers to managers and managers to HR and so on, which gives us a clear view of who is who, if there's any problems arise. Um, the negatives to introducing a CRM system are the majority of the add-ons essential to the effectiveness of the system cost, um, you know, cost money. Um, to transfer our current client database to the new system of 
effectively correct that will um, require technical assistance. Um, training will be required on the system for both remote and office based staff and the transaction will take around two to three weeks to complete. So um, preparation aims and objectives. Um, after reviewing the strengths and weaknesses of all three possible solutions, I found that introducing a new customer relationship management system could significantly, significantly increase the overall workload of the office, allowing the task to focus on developing and expanding the organisation. Um, if a new system is to be introduced, my three main aims are to increase the amount of incoming telephone calls answered from 65% to 95%, reduce the time it takes to process the order from 20 minutes to 10 minutes, and reduce the average time spent on the phone with a customer from 10 minutes to 5 minutes or less. Right, um, for each objective, I want to look at four factors. Will it benefit the organisation? What information will I need? How easy can the information be obtained? And what resources are required? So for objective one, um, reduce the amount, reduce the average time spent on the phone. Um, the benefits to the organisation um, is by leaving office staff uh, more time to deal with the day-to-day -day task and also allows more capacity to take other incoming calls. In turn, this will make the company more uh, make more money as a call as a call sorry as if a call is not answered the customer may not may try a different provider resulting in a potential of seven hundred to eight thousand pounds worth of work going away. Um, the information needed for this objective is um, for all clients and um, invoicing database to be loaded onto the new CRM system. This will be easy to obtain as um, the resources are ours and we have a, a company technical team who um, are able to transfer the data. Um, objective two, increase the amount of incoming telephone calls. Um, this benefits the organisation, uh, sorry, the benefits of this organisa the organisation are very similar um, as they link together. If a call is significantly shortened, yet still dealt with, the inquirer um, leaves more time um, to answer the calls um, and may not have otherwise been answered which, as I mentioned, will increase the amount of money coming to the organisation. <coughs> Again, the same type of information is required for this objective um, to meet the target. And the CRM is one singular database and all information is held in one place. And objective three, reduce the time, um, the amount of time it takes to process an order. Um, process an, processing an order um, 10 minutes, uh, you know, 10 minutes faster on average will save around, save around an, office, an hour of office time per person. This combined with a faster, more efficient call system will lose a significant amount of time that would otherwise, otherwise been have wasted. This allows the manager or managing director to take on new contracts, knowing that the office will be able to deal with the extra work, therefore again, bringing in more money. The information, information and resources needed for this objective uh, to meet the target is already at our disposal, as our own technical team will transfer the data onto the new system, and, um, which will need to be accessed in order to process all the more quickly. Um, <clears throat> in order to carry out my proposed idea, I have developed a, a methodology, method, sorry, methodology, methodology, I can't speak today, uh, including a gang chart to clear, give a clear understanding of what needs to be done over what amount of time. Initially, there will not be any changes in procedures um, as the system will take a week and a half to fully transfer all the information from the whole database. Um, as well as this, the CRM will need um, setting up to suit the organisation's requirements, for example, invoicing templates and brand differentiation. Once it's completed, the staff will undergo a CRM training um, which will inform them on processing orders, logging calls, creating accounts, etc. Um, once this system is in place and is being used on a regular basis, we will request feedback from the staff to confirm everyone is confident with the new system and to identify any problems that may have been, uh, not been identified in the transfer, like a particular feature not working correctly. Um, a few issues 
can be anticipated. Um, I remember a staff may not be able to attend the training, or the transfer may take longer than expected. If this was to happen, the absent member of staff um, will be requested to attend an online webinar to show the new system from a remote location. Um, and if the transfer took longer than expected, it would not necessarily be a huge setback as we um, will be using the old system until the training is finished. Um, for some strange reason, I haven't got my last paragraph, but um, that's, that's it. <laughs> okay, can I, uh, so, so just a question. So, four weeks, is that quite an intensive time? Um, yeah, well, um, it only takes, um, after looking into it and everything, it only takes a week and a half roughly to, to transfer everything onto the, the system. Um, and, and training is not a long process at all. Um, so it allows, um, you know, that week to, to, to get any feedback and identify any problems that need to be identified and to move on. Mm -hmm. Okay, very swift. Thank you very much. Thank you.